Good morning, YouTube homesteaders. Tom Fitzgerald with Good Hope Homestead. Man, it has been just the worst weather you could possibly imagine here in the last week or so. It has rained almost every single day. Uh, it's just been cold. It's been nasty. The ground here is just completely saturated. Uh, but today, it's a nice day. Uh, we've got a couple projects we want to get done. Uh, now that it's getting closer to spring, uh, we're going to get our first round of meat birds coming in here soon, with probably within the next week or so. So I got two projects that we need to get done. Uh, first, we're going to have to build our chick brooder to put our chicks in once uh, once they arrive, and then uh, from there, when they're ready, we're going to put them in our in our chicken tractor uh, to put out here in, the, in our backpack. Uh, so today, first thing I'm going to do is I've got the materials here already. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to get our chicken tractor built today. Uh, we're building a chicken tractor uh, that's going to be six by six uh, by 24 inches high, uh, so we should be able to get a decent amount of birds in there uh, and give them plenty of room to move around. Uh, there's actually this this design <clears throat> was designed originally. What I went off of was uh, was a chicken tractor plan uh, from Al Lumna with Lumna Acres. If any of y'all are familiar with him, if not, you need to go over there and check his channel out and check out his chicken tractor build. Uh, I watched it out of all the ones that I've seen, uh, his seems to be the best for us. Uh, now there's a lot of other tractors out there that the designs are great, but uh, but right now it's just me and my wife out here on the homestead and uh, you know my grandkids are here sometimes. So I wanted to build something that was going to be easy enough for uh, if I wasn't here that my wife could move or even my granddaughter if she needed to, she could come out and move the chicken tractor for us. So the material what I'm going to use is PVC pipe. But it's going to be uh, the design basically like Lum uh, Al Lumna's uh, chicken tractor, but instead of using the wood, we're going to be using PVC. The other reason is I've got a ton of this PVC left uh, that we used when we built our greenhouse. Uh, I got a really good deal on the PVC pipe, uh, so I've got tons of it left over. So it's going to work out great for doing that. This is our PVC. Uh, it's going to take, for this chicken tractor, it's going to take eight. 10 foot pieces of uh, three quarter inch PVC. Like I said, I've got bundles of this stuff laying around. Uh, I actually found this stuff on Craigslist. There was a uh, nursery center that had 20 foot bundles of this stuff. It was in 20 foot lengths, three quarter inch, and they were in bundles of 10 that uh, they had just mass quantities of they're trying to get rid of it. They were actually selling the, the 20 foot bundles of 10 of for four dollars so i just went up there with my with my pickup truck and uh and a pair of pvc cutters and just cut them all to 10 foot lengths and just loaded them in the back of my truck and uh you know that's that's what we use to frame our uh our tunnel our hoop house or greenhouse in with uh, and like i said we had plenty left over and you know if he still got some more i'm probably gonna run up there and get some more because this stuff you can always use and for that price it was it was great all right guys today to cut this pvc pipe what we're going to be using is, I'm just using these PVC cutters, uh, it's nothing special, you can pick these up at any of your big box hardware stores like Ace, Lowe's, Home Depot. Uh, they're fairly inexpensive, they work easy. Uh, it's, I'd rather use these for uh, for the few cuts I'm going to have to make than to have to drag uh, my miter saw or something out here to cut it. But you could use a miter saw, sawzall, you can use even a hand saw, I mean anything really to cut the stuff, it's not, it's not too terribly difficult to cut. All right, guys, now for the sake of time, I'm just going to go ahead and cut all this stuff ahead of time. Uh, so you're not going to have to sit here and watch me just make a bunch of random cuts. But I'll go ahead and go over the uh, the cuts with you now, the pieces, the size pieces that you're going to need. And uh, and I'll put a, I'll also put a link to uh, to all our cut list and the materials uh, in the description below on this video. Uh, and you can go over to our website, and I'll have the cut list and everything there posted up there for you. So you can, uh, you can print that out if this is something you're interested in. All right, the first thing you have to do is we're going to need eight pieces that are 21 inches long. We're going to need 14 pieces that are 34 inches long. We're going to need four pieces that are 30 inches long. And then we're going to need two small pieces that are two inches in length. And three pieces that are 69 inches in length. And uh, you can go ahead and cut those, and those are going to be all your cuts on this PVC pipe. So you can get all those cut, have them ahead of time, mark them. You know, just it'll make it faster to do just having everything cut. Uh, as far as all the connectors go, it's going to be eight of the 90 degree uh, three way elbows. We're going to need eight of those, one for each corner, and then we're gonna, you're going to need ten of the uh, of the T's, the actual just straight T's, and then four 
of the 90 degree elbows and as far as the PVC parts go that's that's all you're gonna need for uh, to go ahead and get this framed in so we've got all of our cuts made already and now I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna show you kind of kind of how we're put this together and, and what it'll look like once uh, once it's all assembled all right guys now the first thing you do is just take your uh, your pieces that uh, start with one that we got cut at 21 inches and go ahead and stick it into your uh, your three-way elbow there and then you're just going to take your 34 inch cuts and uh, and slide it into there then from there you're going to go in with your T get your T in there and you just want to kind of sight down there and, uh, and sight from here to there make sure they're they're all straight straight up and down so everything's plumb and, and pushed in good and then you're going to go in with another 34 inch piece flip this around so you can see and then from there on this end we're going to add in another 90 degree elbow the three way there and then for there we're just going to add in our other two 21 inch pieces now there's two different ways to put this together uh, you can use your PVC cement glue and glue all your joints together or you could dry fit everything together, which is what I'm doing today. And we're gonna actually use uh, pin head screws. And I'll show you when we get to that point. And I'm actually gonna screw ours together. The reason why I'm screwing it together is, we, you know, we live on a small homestead here and, uh, and space is an issue. So come you know, the fall, winter time, when we're no longer using these, as far as storage goes, I can actually break these down to where they're easy to store in one of our in one of our buildings you know like our, our shed here uh, and they won't take up a lot of room if, if room for you if you've got a big place to store them is an issue then yeah you can go ahead and glue them all together if you've got a place you can store them uh, throughout the winter time but for us we're I'm gonna actually go through when we're when I'm finished up and I'm gonna screw all of our connections together all right so now we got it flipped over here and we're gonna go ahead and start doing uh, this is actually gonna be the, the side the top across here to the side of this coop uh, now this is gonna be a little bit different than what we did at the bottom. The first thing you do is take your take your 90, go ahead and put your 90 degree three-way on this end. And then you're gonna take one of your other 34 inch pieces, put your 34 inch piece on there, take a T. And if you remember we cut these little two two inch pieces. So what you're gonna do is take that two inch piece and stick it in your T like that. Get it down in there as far as you can. And then we're going to go ahead and put it connect, connect it in there. Now what we're going to do is, this is, I've, obviously you see this is a little different. We're going to take another T and we're going to take this other 30 inch piece that we cut with the T on the end and we're going to slide it on top that little two inch piece that we cut but this T is going to be facing up and then we're going to take our last 90 degree three way and put it on that end right there now we have our complete what this will be is actually one of the sides to the coop now what we're going to do is going to go through the same thing we just did and make another one of these there we go we went ahead and built the other side so now we have two sides that mirror each other and uh, one thing I want to point out just to make sure uh, that y'all can see this is when we get to that point that's the uh, that T here that we did up on up towards the top that's by itself it's kind of shooting off in a different direction when we do our other side we want to make sure that it mirrors that other side so what we're going to do now is we're going to stand these two these two sides up and join them together. Now we got our two end pieces, our two side pieces, connected there at the bottom with the two 34 inch pieces and our T in the middle. And you, like I said, you wanted to make sure 
Now you get to this, this cross brace that's going to go here in the middle at the top that both sides are going to mirror each other so they line up. All right, so what we're going to do now is go ahead and add in our top brace that's going to go across and then we're going to go to the other side and do the same thing. All right, we got our back to side done now. We got our 234 inch uh, cuts with our T up top and our 234 inch cuts in the T down bottom and our 21 inch cut right there going down the middle for the middle support. All right, now that we got all of our sides together, what we're gonna do next is, is run, our, run our connector across the top here to these two T's. Uh, this is gonna be one of your 69 inch uh, cuts that you made. You should have made three of them. We're gonna use one of them right here and go ahead and connect that T and this T together. We're just gonna run it straight across. Got our, uh, our cross piece put in and uh, this is basically it that's gonna be for for the uh, the framing of the coop, this is pretty much the way it's going to uh, it's going to be. Uh, the next part we're going to do is is build our door for the top. We're going to have a door up here that we can lift up uh, so we can get our chickens in and out. And uh, we're going to go ahead and build that next. What you're going to use is your uh, is your leftover. You should have two pieces uh, that are 69 inches long and uh, two pieces that are 30 inches long left with four elbows. And uh, we're just going to put those together. We're going to make our our top. All right, we took our leftover pieces, our 269s, our 230s, and our, uh, our four 90-degree elbows, and uh, we put them together. We formed this rectangle, and this rectangle is actually going to be our top that we'll be able to lift up to, uh, to get in and out of the coop, give us access to the, uh, to the chickens, feeding, water, uh, and everything else. All right, so uh, from here, our next step is going to be to go ahead and get the wire put on this coop. As I stand it up on its side, and what I'll do is I'll take our chicken wire and I'll go ahead and start it. I will uh, I'll wrap the end over around the pipe and then I'll take a few zip ties and uh, go ahead and zip tie it to the top and, uh, and get it all secured up there. And then once you do that, just let your, let your chicken wire just hang down, give it a little bit of slack. And all we're going to do now is just take this uh, tractor and we're just going to roll it. All right, there we actually just rolled it over, and uh, that way now we got the wire going across the side right here. Now, when you get it like this, you can grab it on your end, and you can just pull down on it like that, and uh, it'll it'll pull it tight and get that uh, and get that slack uh, out of it. And then once you get it where you want it, you go ahead and uh, and just add uh, another section of zip ties in there just to hold it in place for now. And now that we have it pulled nice and tight across the top, from here to here what we're going to do is go to our ends now and just add in a couple right here. And the best thing to do is just grab the end of your wire and just kind of pull down on it. And, uh, and so it, it gets it tight and takes any of that slack out from side to side. And then we'll just add a, a zip tie or two in. All right, so we got all of our zip ties put in across the sides and across the bottoms so now the only thing you gotta do is you can go through and uh, and go ahead and cut all your cut all your ends off those uh, so they're not hanging down and in the way you can go ahead and cut those off on both sides as you can see the, the wire now is uh, that wire now is extremely tight yeah it's got a lot of tension on it it's nice and tight secure so now that we've done that all we're gonna do is we're gonna do the same thing we're just gonna flip it uh go ahead and roll it again and uh and cover this side and then we'll go through zip tie it and roll it again and zip tie it and basically we're just gonna keep doing that until we're all the way around the whole thing all right guys where we have it we got all the chicken wire around all four sides and uh now this at this point uh i'm gonna go ahead and screw it together uh before i go any further so what i'm gonna do is all my joints i'm just gonna go and put uh some self-tapping screws in and then uh, once we do that, we're going to go ahead and put our top on. All right, guys, we got chicken wire on all four sides of our coop. And uh, we got it rolled over. We got our, all of our joint screws uh, together. Now for the last part we're going to do is go ahead and get the wire put on the top and on the door. All right, guys, I got our door right here. This is the, uh, the one that we made earlier and just set off to the side. 
Uh, I'm not going to use the chicken wire on the top uh, for our door and for the top. I'm actually using uh, some weld wire that I a roll of it I had left over from a from a project last year. Uh, you can use the chicken wire with no problem. I just had this left over. It's a little bit stronger, so I'm going to use this instead. Uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and get this. I, I've got it all cut to fit. I'm going to go ahead and just zip tie it on here, and then I'm going to go to the coop and do the same thing. The uh, wire put on our top for our door right here. And uh, now that we got that all attached with these zip ties, we're going to go over to the uh, chicken tractor and we're going to do the same thing. All right, guys, we got our uh, we got our wire on the top of our uh, chicken tractor, and uh, there's our door. I went ahead and brought that over and uh, attached it. Uh, all you use to attach it is you can just take uh, just take a couple of zip ties and just uh, just periodically just run them between the uh, the back side of the door there and that uh, that brace that runs through the top side of the tractor. Uh, make sure you make them snug. You don't don't worry about over tightening them and not working. Uh, it will work just fine. Uh, you can keep them nice and snug. Uh, this thing makes it easy to open. As you can see, it it, it opens and closes uh, with no problem. All right, from here we're gonna go ahead and make uh, make our locks to put on uh, to put on the front of this so uh, so keep the predators and stuff out or keep uh, anything uh, from from lifting that door open and getting in. All right, guys, what I'm using to make the latches for the chicken tractor is I'm taking one of those three quarter inch screws that uh, that I used to uh, to screw the the tractor together with. And I saved the wire. Uh, if you remember, when you open up your roll of chicken wire, there is a uh, there's a piece of wire they use. They wrap the roll up with to keep the roll tight while it's being packaged. You have to take that off in order to unravel the roll. Uh, I saved it, and what I did is I cut three pieces that were 12 inches in length, and I just wrapped it around a screw. And then we're gonna need three of those, just like that. And then three. This is just a uh, just a one inch stainless steel wood screw and uh, we're gonna need three of those also as I'll show you how I put these uh, latches on what I did is I just shot that self tapper screw with the wire we had wrapped around it uh, into the top of the of the uh, of the lid to our tractor there and then took that uh, one inch stainless steel screw and just shot it in there halfway and that way you can just wrap your wire around it and it uh, it keeps that lid closed or opening depending on which way you wrap it and I just went ahead and did that on uh, on both sides I did it here on the top on this corner right there and same thing I put the screw on and uh, you could also do go ahead and do it again in the center of the uh, of the chicken tractor and uh, and that'll keep uh, that'll keep your lid from opening up Hey guys there you have it what I did is I just went through and uh, and just put a tarp on the top of it and uh, I, of course like everything else I just zip tied it across the top I did use a little bit heavier duty zip ties on this uh, just for the wind and the rain but uh, I ran that across the top and then uh, ran it down the bottom and uh, and just tight zip tied it off down there uh, that'll help keep these guys uh, keep these guys dry if we get a heavy rain and uh, that's uh that's it finished all right guys so that's all i've got for today uh the chicken tractor turned out good i'm excited about it i'm excited about getting our meat birds here soon and uh, i'm looking forward to uh to the beginning of summer here we'll be processing them all right, i think i did okay explaining everything uh if if there's something i missed or, uh, or something I didn't explain good enough, please put it in the comments down below and, and I will get back and answer those questions uh, as soon as I can. Uh, tomorrow, our next video, we're gonna be shooting a video on building our chicken brooder because uh, our chickens will be coming in here soon, hopefully uh, within the next week or so. So we're gonna have to get a brooder set up and built for them. Uh, and I will go ahead and get a, a video shot in us uh, building our brooder. All right guys, until the next video, God bless.